So tell me about the Olympics. You've competed in a few and you've won 11 gold uh, Paralympic medals. Tell me what the Olympics, what they represent and what it was to represent your country. And To compete for your country at that level is... It's just incredible because it's it's the the peak of anything that you could ever wish to do. So although World Championships, Europeans, you know, other competitions were important, for me, competing at Paralympics was, was all I wanted to do. Uh, I competed at five. Uh, and, you know, w when I think about how many friends and colleagues along the way who were all trying to do that, who maybe didn't even get to compete at one, to, to then be at five was amazing. And I, I always remember from my first one, uh, through to my fourth, always knowing I was going to do another four years, that I I wanted that moment again because it's the crowd, it's it's you have the best in the world who are there, and uh, it's it's great, huge pressure. Uh, and I remember, you know, before each of my finals, being in the the sort of warm up track, you know, about two hours before, thinking, what am I doing here? Am I good enough? You know, you ask yourself all those questions. And that's the point where you have to look back at your training and, and your preparation and know that you've done everything you could. So I like training. Training was good. I mean, it'd be nice to not to have to do quite as much of it. But, but the only way I knew I was going to have a chance of winning was to train 15 times a week, was to do everything in my life to make sure when I was on that start line I had the best chance. Because, you know, after a race at the Paralympic final, you can't say, excuse me, can we just do that again, please? Mm. You know, I, I, you, know you, you, you have... 16 seconds, 28 seconds, whatever it is, you, you have this short space of time to prove that you're good and you can't go back. And as yourself, you from a very early age, you were already planning, I'm going to be in the marathon, I'm going to be in, in, the, Par in the Paralympics. So obviously that, that mindset and that drive takes you there. The mindset and the drive is hugely important um, to make yourself train every day, mm. actually, because there are some times when, if it's minus five, and it's mm. foggy outside, and you have to do 20 miles training, you're not there going, yay, I'm a GB athlete, aren't I? Like, you know, and that there are moments when you get to train in very nice places around the world, and it's, 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 it's different. But when you're tired, and you've got blisters, and you're in the middle of a winter training session where it feels forever before you're going to compete again, you have to have something that makes you go out and do the things you don't like doing. You know, not, not necessarily, the things you like doing tend to be the things that you're good at but you get most improvement from the doing the things that, that you maybe don't like or not so good at doing. And I think that's one of the things that I was good at was making myself do do the hard graft because you knew that's all pennies in the bank. It all makes a difference for when you come to that start line. So, you know, my Paralympic career, five games, 11 goals is 19 and a half minutes. You know, I didn't have very long to prove myself. Um, so for me, that's why I trained hard because I knew I had this ultimately limited time to achieve. What is determination to you? What does it mean? What does determination mean? Determination is knowing what you want. I think being very honest about where you are now um, because you have to know your starting point if you've got a goal, if you're trying to achieve something. And it's, it's about not giving up. It's about doing everything you have to, doing things you like doing, doing things you don't like doing. And th there's belief in there as well. You know, if, if you're determined to, to reach a goal, there will be points which is really hard and it feels like it's not worth it and you might be going backwards. But you, you have that belief in yourself that, that you will get there. And um, I, I think probably people who know me, they would be polite if they say I was determined. There's other, other names I've been called as well, but uh, I, I think it's that, that ability to, to push yourself really hard, to, to believe that you're doing the right thing.